Howdy folks, I am here in beautiful Oconomowoc, Wisconsin because I want to talk to you about the Dilemma Zone. And you've probably never heard of that, but if you've driven a car, I'm sure you've experienced it. <laughs> what that is, is you know when you're coming up on a traffic light and it turns yellow at exactly the wrong time and you don't know whether you can make it or not. And sometimes you try to go and you end up running a red light and other times you end up slamming on the brakes and stopping way too short. <laughs> you didn't need to. And yeah, you know, it's it's a royal pain, especially if you don't know the timing of a light. You know, if you're not familiar with that specific traffic light on that stretch of road, and you don't know how long it is. So, you know, and, and you're probably thinking to yourself, if only there were a way to deal with that, you know, if only there were some kind of solution. And I'm here to tell you that there is. It's called mathematics. And here's how it works. A car traveling at a certain speed for a certain amount of time will go a certain distance. All we have to know is the car's speed and the amount of time. And we do know. It's the speed limit and the length of the yellow light. On this stretch of road, the speed limit is 45 miles per hour. The light's timing is in seconds, so let's go by seconds instead of hours. A mile is 5280 feet and an hour is 3600 seconds. So a car going the speed limit will be moving at 45 5280 feet per 3600 seconds. That comes out to 66 feet per second. By the way, for those of you who freak out over imperial units, this calculation is no simpler in metric because you still need to divide by 3600. Good luck! Anyway, for this light I've timed it to be 4.3 seconds. If we use basic math, we can see that a car will travel 66 times 43 equals 283.8 feet in the amount of time the light is yellow. So if we just measure this distance from the stop line and then mark it, we can now see where a stop or go decision line should be. Now anybody going to speed limit doesn't have to guess or worry when the light turns yellow. If you're past the line, you keep going. If you're not, stop. Honestly, I don't know why this isn't a thing. Why don't these already exist? Why weren't they installed along with the very first traffic lights and ever since? I mean, I realize people are usually pretty good about judging when to stop or continue when a light turns yellow, but traffic accidents are much more likely when the usual doesn't happen, so you'd think it increases safety to make the unusual as rare as possible, which in this case is cars either suddenly braking or cars running red lights. Now, I know somebody's gonna say, but people don't always drive at the speed limit, and yes, this is true. But this makes it less convenient to speed and incentivizes going the speed limit. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.